Joining us uh, here in the studio, riding the chair this morning, is Scott Hoisington, and uh, one heck of a golfer and one heck of a skier, here to give us some great skiing tips. How are you, Scott? Thanks for having me. Really appreciate it. Well, we appreciate you having uh, being here this morning, and uh, you survived the storm last night. Yep. Yeah, snow blowing at 8 o'clock was a little rough last night, but uh, <laughs> glad I did it because I had a smaller pile this morning to snow blow. That's, so. that's perfect. It, it was a bit windy last night. Uh, but, you know, Kip was talking about skiing and tips, and... You know, I bet you got some ski tips, do you not? Yeah, I just want to start off by saying, you know, skiing is a really cool sport because, number one, you're outdoors, great scenery, you're at the top of the mountain, so you always get great views. Um, conditions are always changing. Today is totally different than yesterday, so you have to ski a little different today than you did yesterday. Right. And um, if you evolve with the sport and keep growing as a person, um, you're going to get better and you're going to ski more efficiently. You'll ski with less energy. Be able to ski longer in the day. So I encourage um, anybody to keep learning about the sport and keep growing. I know I've skied for now almost 60 years, and I can't wait to go to my next clinic to learn something new. So um, keep keep learning. That's how you're going to grow in the sport. Absolutely. After 60 years, you're still learning. That's great. <laughs> That's right. So I want to introduce this concept. It's called BERP, mm -hmm. B-E-R-P, and it's the four fundamentals of uh, alpine skiing. So if you think of it as a Venn diagram, you've got the big circle, which is B. You've got three smaller circles inside the bigger circle, and that's E, R, P. So it spells burp, okay? Balance is the big circle. You have to be in balance all the time to be efficient in skiing. The three skills you do to make your skis work in the snow, you edge them, you rotate them, and you put pressure on them, okay? So these three skills are affected by how well you're balanced. In other words, if you're not in the middle of your ski with your hips over your feet, you're not going to be able to edge properly, you're not going to be able to rotate properly, or you're not going to be able to pressure your skis properly. So getting in the middle of the ski, getting your... Your core, which is your mass of, uh, in your torso area, over your feet, super important to be efficient in skiing. The second factor is that these three skills have an effect on your balance. So if I tip my skis up on edge at 10 degrees, mm -hmm. it's easier to balance than if I tip my skis up at 30 degrees. So these three skills affect my balance as well. So I want to just throw this out at you. Think of today, right? Yep. We're out there and it's a powder day, right? Yeah. So how would we want those skills, or how would we want that Venn diagram to look today? Are you going to use a lot of edging if you ski today? Probably not, right? No, no. If you dig your edges in that soft snow, boom, your ski is going to bury right deep, right? Mm -hmm. So you're going to use a lot of rotary and you're not going to use a lot of pressure because if you put a lot of pressure in your skis, they're going to sink as well. Okay, so today, in today's skiing, your Venn diagram might be looking like I see. your rotary is going to be big, big, your edging and your pressure are going to be small. Does that make sense? Yep. All right, we got a skier coming down, narrow gauge, 50 miles an hour, hard pack. Our Venn diagram is going to look like this. We're going to have a lot of edging because yep. we got ice, man. we got to hold on that ice. we got to put a lot of pressure on our skis to hold that ice. Oh, we're not using hardly any rotary in our skiing in that situation. So a great skier is able to see the condition, feel the condition, and change their Venn diagram of their burp based on what they're doing. If you're skiing the bumps, another example, okay? A lot of rotary, not much pressure. Not much edging, right? right? And your stance a little bit more narrow. You're skiing on hard pack. Your stance get a little wider so you can get your skis up on edge a little bit easier. More pressure, less rotary. So just think of burp when you're out there skiing. The fact that those three skills have an effect on your balance. Mm -hmm. And your balance has an effect on your ability to do those three skills. And have those three skills change based on the conditions, how fast you're going, um, turn shape you're making, 
terrain you're on, if it's steep, if it's bumpy, whatever it is, um, always be changing your Venn diagram as you're skiing. The keys to success right there. Well, I don't know. That's just the, uh, it's called the skills concept from CSA. Yeah. Um, and again, this is something that you would probably go through if you took a lesson with one of our pros. Um, and again, always learn. Mm -hmm. you, you, you can get better at whatever sport you're playing. You become more efficient. You become uh, able to do more in your skis and uh, enjoy the sport more. And that's part of the training that, uh, that, that your instructors have, right? Sure. Yeah. Um, we, we have uh, an exam, uh, amazing staff at, at Sugarloaf. Probably more examiners on our staff mm -hmm. or what they call ed staff, the people who work the educational staff for PSA. We have, I think, six examiners and we have five or six people on what they call the dev team, which is just the, low, uh, the layer below the examiner. So um, we have an amazing staff. And what's great about those examiners, everybody has a slightly different approach to how they teach. Mm -hmm. So um, if you go with one examiner one week, you might get a little tip here. Next week, something a little different. So um, our staff is always growing with, that, with our, with our uh, training. Fantastic. Now, when you when you ski better, you have more fun. Like you said, you can ski longer, right? Right. It, it's great tips. And uh, Perfect Turn's a place you want to go right there. You can get some privates. You can get all different uh, products there. Maybe you could just give us an overview of different products that you offer. Yep. So we have um, the Kid Center, which Mountain Magic is uh, five and under. Mm -hmm. um, Mountain Adventure is six to 13 or 14. And then Mountain Experience is 15 and above. Um, Mountain Experience uh, meets at 10 o'clock every day except for Saturday, mm -hmm. um, and those lessons go up for 90 minutes. They're only $45 for a lesson. Um, the Kids Center, um, you have to sign up for the whole day for your, for your students this year, right. and we're meeting them outside um, to try to you know, <laughs> keep our COVID down in our Kids Center. Um, so um, they're a full-day pro uh, product. Mm -hmm. uh, it goes 9.30 to 3, and same for Mountain Magic. So. All great products, uh, something for everyone, all age groups, and, of course, you can get privates as well. That's correct. All right. Hey, Scott, we appreciate it, and uh, I'm going to remember that when I'm out skiing tomorrow, and I would recommend that everybody call in sick tomorrow because it's going to be a great <laughs> day to get out there and burp on the slopes. Thank you so much, Scott Hoisington. Right. Thank you. Perfect turn. Go and check it out, and there's something for you there as well.